So our presentation today is the anchor design calculation at your fingertips, which is the fixed experience about the rail fix. So what is that? We will learn gradually toward when we'll go towards the end. Here I am Suvankar Dev, your host today, working as technical field engineer in UAE. I'm working for four years in this industry in the fix uh, in the experience in fixing solution so today what will be our journey basically there is two uh, segment of journey one is the basic segment of rail fix we'll discuss elaborately and there will be another about the c fix also we will discuss elaborately regarding that so now the duration of the webinar is 45 minutes it's from 11 to approx 11 45 question answer will be for the 10 minutes so whatever the question will be asked by you will be answered at the 10 minutes and the last poll and feedback session it's very important for us as well as for you so before we start i just want to ask a simple question regarding our history when Fisher established, can anybody answer when Fisher established in the chat box? Uh, I will wait for a couple of seconds. How many? How much? How much long time uh, we are in the market, or like when we started our business? What is the time? Any guess? Any guess? Uh, I can see Dr. Muhammad said 100 years, uh, Khalid said 1950, Nasir says 1976, 1920, 1924. Uh, hi, Pradeep. Uh, Umer said 1947, 1967, Arun, 1930. Okay, good response. Um, almost, uh, we are established uh, by 1948 uh, by Mr. Uh, Mr. Arthur Fisher, so he invented the S-plug uh, in 1958. We are basically, our headquarter is in Waldachtel in, uh, in Black Forest in Germany. We are in fixing division. Now our owner is uh, Mr. Klaus Fisher. He is handling the uh, full fixing division, I mean Fisher division now. Our locations is the... Brazil, Czech Republic, Italy, Argentina, China, Germany, and uh, USA. We are having the manufacturing unit. Uh, we are for, in 47 sub subsidiaries in the worldwide. We are uh, spread over. We are spreading the success over the world now. What are the divisions of the Fisher? Fisher is having division of fixing, uh, fixing division where I work, we work as a Fisher fixing. We are having automotive system. We do have... Fisher Technique, Fisher Consulting, and LNT Automation also with Fisher. Now, about the services, also I want to introduce you. It's uh, Fisher is not only selling the product; we are also giving the training. So, if you need a training at your offices or you need you you need any development in your in your knowledge, we can help you out for the with the trainings uh, about the anchors and things. Um, Pull out test, we do also on the side design calculation. Uh, software support is also given by us. Document support is there, international technical support, as well as the project references for you. Now, let's a little bit discuss about the product range, what we do have before going inside. So, we do have steel anchors, chemical anchors, nylon anchors in the range, supports and hangers for the MEP services, fire stop as a passive fire stop system, facade system, and massive system as well. Now, we are going to introduce to you rail fix. So today our focus will be in rail fix, but what is that? When you install Fixperience, Fixperience is the software to do the design calculation for the anchors and other accessories, which is uh, other products, which is available with Fisher. Here, there is C-Fix, 
which is used to do the anchor design calculation in the concrete or in the machinery there is rail fix which is our topic today it's doing the design calculation for handrail fixing and as well as the balustrade fixing rebar fix is to the fixing rebar i mean in the existing concrete wood fix is to fix wood to wood using fisher screw install fix is for uh, the hanger support design calculation for uh, like MEP services mortar fix is to calculate the mortar volume and channel fix is the new range of product fisher added is the casting channel uh, also available in the software to do the calculation now our focus will be in rail fix so once you click in the rail fix you will find some software like this <coughs> today our discussion will be in rail fix and later on about the cfix so now here if you see the rail fix it's a bit um, user friendly uh, interface and then here you will find towards the left side as a toolbox so how to start the design to start the design you just have to go step by step at the left side and your design will be done to print the preview here how to start the design in the design you will select what is the application the application is railing or parapet or it's the stair rails so I'm choosing for today's example as stay railing on the parapets while we choose the railing on the parapet it is asking railing position it's inside or outside why it's asking inside or outside any idea it's basically asking because to to give you the proper product if it is outside area so you need more corrosion resistance so you should choose the stainless steel anchor if it is inside area you can choose stainless steel or galvanized whatever preferable one so I'm choosing as let's say outside area what is the component shape so means sometime at the at the site you will find sometime they are fixing on the slab sometime they are having a upstand so if you do have upstand you can choose it if you don't have the upstand then go for the concrete slab so today my example is with the concrete slab fixing is the base plate how the base plate it's fixed it's fixed on the face of the slab or on the top of the slab also can be defined here i will choose as on the top of the slab and going for the next part is the static system so in the post there is different options in the software available so there is single span element two span element multiple span element and middle post so middle post is always the worst case as you know single span element or two span element also can be chosen based on your requirement as middle post is the worst case i'm choosing it as middle post what is the distance between the post so from post to post what is the spacing so you will have this i am having the post to post spacing as 1000 mm so one meter let's say railing height above finish floor how much is the height of the railing it means you can by the way directly input the values on the user interface so in the model itself so let's say i am having 1100 mm height and then how much is the height of the infill it is here 900 mm or you can choose from here also i'll make it as 1000 mm here also you will have option from the distance from the top of the infill till the top of the rail so this once we fill this all the options it's basically architectural uh, requirement so you will have the drawing so based on that you can fill this data so once you finish the modeling we can come to the base material what is the base material made of it is crack or non crack so based on the case to case uh, we can choose the crack or non crack concrete grade of uh, concrete it's which grade of concrete you do have what is the surface reinforcement 
we do have surface reinforcement or not then the information regarding the base material once we choose the base material we are good to go for the base plate did i miss something ah verification of the steel structure we will come to the verification of the steel structure once we do the modeling we finish the modeling and then we'll come to the verification of the steel structure so now base plate how it looks like of the base plate so it, it is rectangle circular elliptical or how, how it is looks like so if you are having rectangular base plate you can choose the rectangular base plate here so now here as well there is one um, checkbox saying FEM calculation required or not design calculation for the base plate required or not you can include the FEM calculation in the report by clicking or the ticking the box okay let's come down here what is the size of the base plate it's 150 by 150 now um, uh, whatever is the size it's required for you also you can choose it and then good to go so basically base plate thickness will be will, uh, it's saying here you can see the bottom part it's saying you we need uh, 13 mm of base plate so i will just change it to 13 mm and it's showing it's again green so if it is red then means it is overutilized so it always has to be in the green zone great Till now, if you are having anything, any questions, uh, you can you can put in the question uh, uh, tab, and uh, I am going forward now. So, what is the anchor layout? Anchor layout is how many anchors you are putting. It's four anchor, two anchor, three anchor in a triangle, etc. Uh, I'm I'm putting let's say as a four anchors here. Uh, if if we are putting four anchors, it's saying the edge distance is not sufficient. You can see here. Basically, we do have edge distance. Let's say in the side as like 100 mm from the center of the anchor. I can put it directly here. Now coming down to the profile. What is the profile? How the profile looks like? We can ignore this part be because when we will do the verification of the steel structure, we can directly do the calculation from there. It will choose as profile from there. Now coming down to the load, there is option as free input and then loads are here mentioned. So you can put the unfactored load, load without safety factor you can see. So we can put the load without safety factor. It will take the safety factor automatically and then uh, do the design calculation. So I let's say I am having load here as inwards load 0.25 kilonewton, outwards point. 25 kilonewton fg is basically denoting is the dead load of the infill so here let's say i am having 0.2 kilonewton and um, here it's imposed load how much is the imposed load 0.2 again let's say for me so this is an example i'm trying to make and this is how it's coming now going to the wind load we can include the wind load as well as a free input how much is the wind pressure how much kilonewton per mm square is the wind pressure so i can put as 1.2 kilonewton per mm square as well as 1.2 kilonewton per mm square in the both direction and uh, good to go for the result now there is one thing called fem design which is doing the design check for the for the FEM finite element. So we can check the finite element from here. What is the grade of steel mentioned here? So you can mention by user defined if it is a aluminium or some other uh, material apart from steel. Once we define this, we can do the check here saying how much is the thickness required it's 12 mm apply the value so now our plate thickness is 12 mm great so now uh, the question i saw how to check the cal uh, how to calculate all the anchors what about the anchors okay there is option we can choose the anchors from here but 
I will prefer to choose the anchor from multiple analysis. So if I click here in a single click, you will get the list of anchor what will pass for this particular design calculation. So just to um, just to give some time, it's having 743 anchors are passing for this particular case and it will give the whole list of anchor what are passing. Uh, we are. Uh, I saw one uh, one of the question here. Uh, which load are we taking? Uh, talking of here, we are uh, Orgodip. Uh, basically, we are talking about the loads. Uh, what is the uh, live loads and what is the imposed loads as well as what is the uh, what is the dead load of the handrails? So uh, it's it's always having certain values um, uh, based on based on project to project based on the specification. How much is the wind load is there because it's outside application as well. Here you will see the whole uh, anchor possible solutions. Now it came. So these are the anchors all can pass. I will also tell you today how to do the economic anchor design based on this list. So let's choose the choose one. For time being, to uh, I mean, make the uh, report, and later on we can come back for sure for this. How to choose the economic anchor? So now this anchor is a phase two M10. Great. Now also we talk about verification of the steel structure. So to do the verification of the steel structure, we just need to click on this. And it will do the verification of the post basically. So post. And as well as the handrail. So how the rail is look like? It's a circular uh, section. It's a hollow section uh, of square profile, or it's a rectangular profile. We can choose. So I'm choosing the rail above uh, as a circular section, but the post as hollow section. So once we choose the hollow section, I can also choose the size of the hollow section. It's let's say. 40 and not only that not only the post not only the rail it's also checking the welding connection so here you can see the stress is coming much higher so in the stress analysis the square hollow section for 40 by 3 it's not passing we have to go for the bigger section so 40 by 4 it's passing exactly with 99.6 percent utilization you can see now it's it's safe to go here welded connection it's having 5 mm welded connection and it's having 72% of utilization so good to go here now the print preview is coming if we click on the print preview it will give the report so let's see how the report looks like Uh, Mr. Rajai, I see you saw uh, you wrote uh, how to calculate shear force. Uh, basically, the shear force is calculated by the software itself, so that's why you don't have to uh, uh, consider any. Uh, you don't have to do the calculation in any structural software. You can do in this software and then find it. I will show you how the report looks like. Maybe it will be uh, easier and then it will answer your question. So how it looks like? It's the uh, basic view of the uh, our handrail design here what is the railing dimension the post dimension has been mentioned what are the load has been considered is also mentioned now based on that there is decisive load case has been considered so for the deflection all values are with one time safety factor and then you can see the load combinations here the decisive load design is acting uh, on the base plate based on based on this load combination and how we are getting the shear load tension load bending moments everything on the base plate so <clears throat> at the beginning we did the check 
for the rail profile and post profile uh, uh, in, uh, it's also uh, has been chosen and after that there will be the verification so now the anchor design is there there is the fem analysis for the base plate there is the anchor how much the maximum tension force is working on the anchor and based on that the detail analysis of the anchor is given now in the second part you will find the verification of the deflection for the rails as well as for the post so here the decisive case has been taken again and then the deflection has been checked and the stress as well so after this calculation it's saying proof of the steel part is also successful and this is the end of the report you can say so this is how the report looks like uh, after doing the calculation in the rail fix for the handrails now again to go towards the presentation but before that like again if you are having any uh, questions regarding this uh, presentation or regarding the software uh, presentation you can write down in the question box we will come down to you so now we talk about rail fix it's again about the practice you can do the calculation and uh, if you are facing any issue i am always available i will give my contact uh, at the last slide and uh, you can contact me contact us fisher to support you anytime and um, as a whole now if you want us to train you personally in your office or via internet please please comment in the chat box train me i will just wait for 30 or 45 seconds uh if you really need a training from us it's again free of cost personally in your office or via internet in the software in detail we can come to you to train you just mention train me we will come down to you and then we will train you great response thank you mohammed uh, also frederick uh, kinoti over online great uh, we can arrange uh, uh, the training over online i can i can do that also hemant who you avoid rebar if you face during drilling we will come back to that zahid okay so uh, you can you can still uh, just mention train me will come down to you to personally train you in detail now what is inside design report basically this is we are going to talk in the moderate level for c fix so as if you remember we have different module under fix experience fisher software there was c fix c fix how the design report looks like and what the things we can look towards to make sure the design report is safe before that i also want to question you one what are the failure mode under tension for a post install anchor what are the failure mode in tension anybody can answer what are the failure mode intention pull out failure yeah good concrete cone or godip great shantanu pull out failure omar prying good michael uh, steel failure ahmed concrete break great good answers rapture mm, forced with steel rod okay great so now the failure modes intention it's generally two one is 
steel failure another one is concrete failure but it is having the different checks so how it looks like so there is check for the concrete cone failure under concrete steel failure as i told from the anchor part and then pull out failure again due to wrong installation or the lower grade of concrete so there is three check for the concrete failure and one check for the steel itself now for the failure mode in shear is the similar one it's having steel failure either the anchor fails or the concrete fails is with concrete pry out failure omar i remember you told uh, pry out it was uh, it is for shear not under the tension but uh, great uh, try thank you very much for your comment and there is concrete edge failure as well if you, the anchor is very near to the edge why we have to know this because in the report when we go we found this all the words or like the checks over there in the fixed period c fixed print out report if we enter this loads as like 1.5 kN of tension and 0.4 kN of bending moment it's basically <coughs> giving tension and shear to the anchor so tension is the anchor only knows the tension that uh, the anchor cannot consider the bending moment working in the base plate so it's simplified from the base plate to the anchor as like tension and shear so here you can see the worst case is for anchor number 1 and anchor number 3 here also you can see in the diagram it is anchor number 1 and anchor number 3 is under tension and anchor number Two is under compression, so it is zero. Okay. Now in the report, once we print out, we will find something mentioned like resistance to tension load. In this table, you can easily go through and then understand what is the action load maximum working in a single anchor or group of anchor. what is the capacity of that single anchor or group of anchor under that criteria so let's take example steel failure the acting load is 4.29 kN the capacity of the anchor is 39.29 kN it's much higher so here you can see the utilization of the anchor is only 10% under steel failure but here the worst case is also denoted using the bold it's 88% you can see the concrete cone failure acting load is 8.57 because it's a group of anchor so multiply with the two number of anchor into 4.29 but the capacity is 9.65 so it's working i mean it's utilized 88% almost now coming to the resistance to the shear the similar table you will find before the shear check as a conclusion to see what is the worst failure happening in the design so it's again the concrete pry out failure this is the acting load in the group of anchor this is the capacity of group of anchor and then the utilization for it now coming down not finishing with tension and shear load it's also giving the combined failure which is 88 per uh, 88% for the combination of tension and shear at the end you will find installation data in our report so in the at, at the end the installation data is telling that which anchor you have to use what is the uh, diameter of the drill hole has to be done what is the drill hole depth has to be done i mean what is the fixing thickness also has been given if there is torque required for the anchor to install if the anchor is uh, fz2 or uh, some kind of mechanical anchor bolt anchor how much the torque need to be provided also will be mentioned in the installation data page not only that also to make it more uh, valuable to our customer we are also giving the whole coordinates mentioning the whole coordinates where are the holes located in 
a table to make the life easier to manufacture the base plate now we heard about enso do you know what is enso did you saw this uh, before uh, in the design report i got so many times the questions uh, what is enso so we thought when we are talking about the uh, software we can discuss regarding it like what is enso so going little bit deep inside about the enso basically enso is nothing else it is a code which is called fib bulletin 58 FIB bulletin 58 it's basically international federation of concrete bulletin 58 it's based on europe it's uh, came up and how it is the history of it it's like 65 engineers all together they, they, they sat do the research on the anchors from different industry different companies and they included in the bulletin or the technical report kind of you can say in from that bulletin it came in the world and it is accepted by the whole engineers and worldwide accepted method of enso or bulletin 58 now you could have asked why we have to do the design with fib bulletin 58 well if you see in the etag as per etag there is certain arrangement of the anchor in a base plate so in the first row you can see how the anchor arrangement can be under all loading direction and for the shear load how the anchor arrangement will be so now apart from this arrangement there is no other option for the etag design method to give the freedom to the engineers also to do various different cases we might require different kind of arrangement in the anchor so enso came in with fib bulletin 58 which is giving the unlimited arrangement to the engineers to do the anchor design here also another point why enso because enso when we do the design calculation based on etag we get the combination something looks like this as i shown in the previous slide so in this combination you will find there is maximum uh, maximum utilization for the concrete uh, pull out failure with concrete cone and there is steel failure with liver arm so now here it is failing in concrete in shear it is failing in steel now when we came here the combination is done with the two worst case so one in tension in concrete one in shear in steel so steel to concrete combination has been done here which is much conservative but bit less practical to make more practical enso came up with fib bulletin 58 in the technical report group of engineers they made, they made up this you can see the yellow highlighted is the steel failure under tension steel failure under shear and this is the combination there is concrete failure under tension concrete failure under shear and this is the combination this makes makes the design more realistic as per the site and this is how the enso is doing the design so sometime you will find like when you are doing design with etag it is it might failing but with enso it is passing so enso it's passing not because of there is um, something behind the behind theory is only the combination of the failures so it's enso is worldwide accepted and enso is good to go fib bulletin 58 is accepting the group of engineers worldwide now 
also the last but not the least topic for us how to do economic anchor design many times i face these questions with the with the engineers of uh, from uh, our industry saying how to do the economic anchor design while doing the anchor design in the software first of all i just want to uh, highlight few points regarding the influence factor for the price of anchor it's basically the range of product how many range of product we do have under that category what is the load capacity of the anchor as much the high load capacity the performance is higher the obviously price is going higher type of third party approval it is for non crack concrete or it is for crack concrete it is for seismic approval based on that number of third party approval what are the third party approval we do have it's etag icc and uh, so on uniqueness of the product how unique is the product how the problem solver is the product if there is nothing work how the product perform is also a factor for the anchor price here i try to made a triangle for your easiness to understand uh, how the product um, can be uh, can be sorted out based on the price based on the performance so uh, performance is basically directly proportional to the price so hence uh, you can see uh, one by one how it looks like here the anchors it's for non crack concrete approved by eta while we go up we are having eta approval for crack concrete i icc approval seismic approval and at the top you can find the uh, products which is the having all the approvals along with some special approvals as well basically the performance curve goes from down towards up so the top product is the best perform product here chemical anchor performance triangle for your easiness to understand uh, while you do the design here the non crack concrete anchor uh, chemical which is approved this is the crack concrete anchor chemical um having et approval some of the product is having icc approval american approval i mean and then there is also product which is having dynamic approval as well as the static approval again performance wise it's going from down towards the top the top product is the best performing product here how it will help us when you will uh, you remember in the rail fix we choose the calculate all anchor while we click on this tab we found the list of anchor and then we can choose based on the case to case which anchor is passing for us in that case so in the result we need to click and then we need to click calculate all anchors to get the list of the anchors now i am towards the end of the presentation uh, i am having some request to you uh, from my side so if you are having uh, i mean if you if you have any comment like uh, or like you are interested uh, as i told for the webinar we can we can discuss in uh, in detail just uh, mention as train me and then we will come back to you give me an honest feedback to improve ourselves as well as your experience in future um, we want to improve your experience uh, how we are interacting now also please do not hesitate to contact me uh, if you are having any clarification um, as as i said uh, i this is my mail id my whatsapp is available in this number as well as uh, you can give me a call direct to discuss about it 100% will be in touch and then try to find the solution for you let's go towards the question tab now uh, what are the questions we got uh, from you to answer one by one in between if you are having any questions you can again mention in the question tab mohammad uh, said could you please inform us how we can download this application 100% mohammad uh, i will send uh, the link uh, over there uh, to you uh, and uh, mentioning like how you can download if you are facing any problem again suvankar is ready to support you uh, just one message away or one mail away uh, is there uh, android app available uh, mohammad uh, 
android app is available uh, for for uh, us but this is not for the anchor design but uh, to choose the right product for the diy uh, what is the application based on that you can choose the uh, uh, product uh, app is available in uh, google play store as well as in the app store <clears throat> what is the minimum spacing and edge distances or uh, minimum spacing edge distances is the separate topic basically uh, minimum spacing and edge distance is mentioned in relevant ETA approval of the product so if you go to our website and choose the product you will get the documents and downloads option where you will get the ETA inside ETA it's very much clear and elaborately explained like what should be the minimum spacing and minimum edge distance why we need that maybe that will be in another session uh, how do we define uh, crack concrete uncrack concrete or go deep, uh, crack concrete uncrack concrete uh, well good question uh, again the this is another topic um uh, crack concrete in a simple word single word concrete under tension is crack concrete concrete under compression is non crack concrete uh, but in in detailed um, we can discuss it thank you very much for your comment so be in touch uh, for sure we can discuss regarding this Mohammad Shabir uh, is saying uh, this is all on the selection software, but how can we have this to working on this? Uh, Mohammad Shabir, uh, I actually did not got this, but you mean like how you can get the software? If this is your question, then the software is available online. I will share the link uh, with you. In the chat box and as well as uh, you can you can drop your mobile number uh, we will we will uh, be in touch to make sure you are you are able to install the software in your system or which load uh, are we talking uh, of here um, or uh, we already told like um, there is different loads uh, it's sometimes shear loads and there is wind loads on the balustrades we are talking about that loads and how to calculate based on that the post and the base plate and the anchors uh, that load what, what we talk about and that is the application what we talk about uh, size of anchor okay uh, how are we considering the seismic design software connection uh, seismic design safety of factor connection since all building code talk about seismic for glass railing size of anchor uh, great good question uh, mr i'm not sure like um, uh, uh, what's your name I'm not getting sorry um, anyhow uh, sir um, here the seismic design is not uh, included in the software but uh, for sure we can I can come back to you if you are having any seismic design for the handrails and which is not available in the software you can directly contact me contact us uh, we can support you for that particular uh, design calculation either by manual from our side or from the same software but um, as a exclusive version from our side so the anchor design can be given uh, it's possible to give uh, is it possible to do calculation for the facade application uh, Muhammad is saying uh, is it possible to do the calculation for the facade application facade application uh, it is possible to do the calculation but uh, as you saw the facade system it's a different system for us and that is a full different topic uh, we can do the design calculation it is not available till now for public uh but we can do the design calculation for facade as well if you require uh we just need to know what is your requirement again like uh, possible to do and uh, the whole calculation for the facade system can be given by us um can we get trail software uh yes uh, sake not trail software but the uh, full software can be downloaded and it's free of cost uh, for lifetime so you can download anytime i will share the download link i can see uh, many of you are asking for the software 100 percent you will get the link uh, in the chat box or, or in your personal mail as well 
only available in 12 mm size or it's depend on weight uh, engineer asif i understood because i was doing the design calculation with m12 was there mentioned in the anchor i believe in last of the uh, at the last of the software uh, presentation uh, it it got clear for you you can choose whatever is the diameter require and uh, you can choose any of the anchor based on uh, the performance of the anchor and your requirement at, at the project uh, can you leave the link of the application to download and install a hundred percent aru varaj abura abu varaj abu varaj sorry i'm sorry abu varaj uh, uh, did i spell well now uh, uh, yes possible to give you abu varaj uh, the link of the software um anchoring material uh, guarantee period how many years um, uh, good uh, sir anchoring anchoring uh, for the anchors which is eta approved anchor by eta the if you are installing proper anchor in the proper location i mean uh, for the outer uh, environment if it is uh, you are using the stainless steel or the proper environment proper material then it's having 50 years warranty by eta itself so um, yes it's pretty good uh, can you uh, can the software consider bended element uh, software can uh, santonu uh, soft software can consider uh, bended element yes uh, and also when it's doing the design calculation uh, if we are giving the standoff or the grout it's considering the bending on the anchor as well due to the shear force and as you saw it is doing the stress check for the post so it's considering the bending can the software consider uh, okay uh, it's done uh, shake is saying how we can calculate it for fire rated case uh, mr shake a fire rated case for the balustrade it's uh, it's not included in the software but again like if you are having the fire 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 case you can uh, refer to us our normal anchor design software it's with fire case so we can do the design calculation for you for the post in the normal and then uh, again for the fire also can be given again but this will be manually so possible to give so if you are having any case like that you can directly contact me contact us uh, to give you the solution for it uh, can we have a video of this webinar available afterwards yes sir it is available and we will send to you um, again mr is saying fem means a flexible base material is considered so the anchor force are taking the additional load because of any find of non rigidity uh fem for us as much uh, as per my knowledge uh, it's uh, it's considered as a rigid base plate not a fix flexible base, base plate uh for the fem analysis in our software uh, but still as you are having the question i will come back to you uh, with detailed answer what is the responsible for anchor design failure um what is the responsible for anchor design failure mm, i'm not sure like uh, what do you mean by this uh, question maybe you are meaning like if the anchor design fails uh, then uh, who will be the responsible or like uh, how to how to find out the faults whatever you are meaning but uh, just to tell you the anchor design it's having safety factors and the process of doing the design so if you are following the process and you are putting the correct data it should not fail in uh, in our experience it is never failing if you are following the proper data uh, but again like sometime it happens because based on which um, confidence i am saying this because there is a uh, load safety factor there is material safety factor so all of this safety factor has been included to make it till fail from the design load so it's it's really not uh, easy but if it is failing still means there was something wrong in the design we have to look inside the design calculation uh, to see it uh, how do we know the selected anchor is the most economical um, um 
munishwar uh, as i told in the presentation like as the performance uh, of the anchor is uh, directly proportional to the price so higher performance anchor is bit higher in price it's true it's fact so um, always it's better to start if the anchor is uh, meeting your criteria so now you might know the curve of anchor like uh, which one is the best performance and which one is the least and then based on that you can choose it can enso help in fixing design on a circular or inclined surface also if your software has capability to access inclined installation Enso cannot do the design calculation uh, on circular or inclined surface. It's not about the Enso, but uh, it's again Enso is not Enso from uh, from us. It's it's a code basically in uh, in the in the whole world. There is nothing uh, clearly mentioned regarding the circular face of the column or let's say on the corner or in the inclined but still we can do the engineering judgment uh, based on our experience we can uh, support you we did uh, many projects in our region with this kind of situation and we came up uh, with some engineering judgment and solution which was accepted by the consultants and the engineers over there so possible to give you the solution uh, santonu uh, but uh, request you if you are having any kind of this case please do contact uh, us uh, we will be always happy to support you how do uh, how to understand the nomenclature of the product uh, from product catalog easily munishwar uh, that's that's a good question actually uh, it was not about that uh, product catalog reading but uh, okay as you asked the question i can answer you uh, regarding it um, the product our product it's having very uh, user friendly nomenclature uh, if you see our bolt anchor it's the name of the anchor then the diameter of the anchor slash what is the maximum plate thickness so if you are familiar with fisher product so you will know this because we don't believe on the length of the anchor maybe our anchor require less length less embedment depth compared to others uh, i will say compared to anybody else so uh, the length of the anchor it's really varies but what matters is the thickness of the plate what you are going to fix which is already mentioned in the mentioned in the uh, nomenclature of the anchor any software we can download uh, can we download yes you can download uh, engineer asif uh, the software is available free of cost in our website you can directly write in google fix experience and uh, i believe you will get the link um, also trial pull out result which is mentioned in the data sheet related to design criteria um uh, okay uh ihab um i actually did not got what you mean by this question if you can bit explain trial pull out test result which is mentioned in the data sheet related to any design criteria um uh, in the data sheet i don't know like it's mentioned about the pull out or not but if you are having something like this i'm i'm 100% interested to uh, discuss regarding it and clarify it um uh, that's 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 what i can do but uh, thank you very much for this questions and interactive session i'm um, thank you to you and also as well as like can we uh, go towards the poll and uh, poll tab and then uh, review for the webinar how you found it it was useful or not uh, how we can improve our webinar how we can improve our interaction with you, with you in future for your better experience uh, just just 5 minute from you for us we answer the balance question by mail so whatever the question left uh, i will i will answer you back through mail uh, to each of you personally and uh, if you are having any further questions again i am always available uh, with this mail id and the whatsapp number you can contact me anytime so uh, now uh, you can see in the chat box uh, you will find the fixperience download software 
uh, you can download the software um, free of cost and register it um, if you are facing any problem any point of time again suvankar is ready to support you fisher team is with you kindly do the polls before you leave the seminar uh, leave the webinar and i really thank you from my bottom of heart stay safe and healthy